In this example, we're going to talk about the uniform distribution. So suppose a certain a size of a certain type of marble has a diameter that's uniformly distributed between 0.3 and 0.5 inches. Okay. So our diameter, we'll call it x, and x is uniformly distributed, so we'll do the u, from 0.3 to 0.5. Or if you prefer, a equals 0.3, b equals 0.5. Those are my upper and lower limits. So first, what is your PDF? We have a nice little formula for this. f of x for uniform distribution is 1 over b minus a. This works for all uniform distributions. So it's going to be 1 over, so you do the upper limit of 0.5 minus the lower limit. So 1 over 0.2 or 5. And it's valid for x values between 3 and 5. Or sorry, 0.3 and 0.5. So we found the PDF. Now to find the CDF. You just plug everything into that formula. The formula for that is x minus a over b minus a. So x minus 0.3 over 0.5 minus 0.3 or x minus 0.3 over 0.2. So we found the CDF. And again, this is just all we have to do is plug everything into the formulas that they give us for uniform distributions. So number three, let's find the probability that x that a randomly selected marble is between 0.35 and 0.42 inches. So you could do this with the PDF, but it's actually easier if you just use the CDF. Because if you want the probability that x is between 0.35 and 0.42, all you have to do is plug in that top number to your CDF and then subtract what you get when you plug in the bottom number. So in this case, it's going to be 0.42, so we're using the CDF, so right here. 0.42 minus 0.3 over 0.2 minus a 0.35 minus 0.3 over 0.2. And this gives me, just coincidentally, 0.35. That's how you can find the probability. So let's look at our next one. So find the probability that x is between 0.2 and 0.34. Now this 0.2 is too low. That's outside of our range. Our actual lowest range, lowest number is 0.3. So this is really going to be the probability that we're between 0.3 and 0.34. So again, we'll just plug in our top number into our CDF minus what we get when we plug in our bottom number. So 0.34 minus 0.3 over 0.2 minus 0.34 or 0.3 minus 0.3 over 0.2. Now this whole thing will be zero, which makes sense because that is the bottom limit. <coughs> and we get 0.2. Now, one last one. Find the probability now. But now we want x to be greater than or equal to 0.47. I can't just plug that into my CDF because my CDF always gives me probabilities of less than or equal to. But you could use the complement rule. So the probability that x is greater than or equal to 0.47 is 1 minus the probability that x is less than 0.47. And this would be equal to your CDF because it's a less than probability now. So we get 1 minus, we'll just, oh, I guess I should write it out now, f of 0.47. Or this is 1 minus, so we'll do our 0.47 minus 0.3 over 0.2. So this all gives me 0.15. And just for fun, let's go ahead and say, okay, that was our first method. That was using the CDF. Now let's use it with the PDF. So now if you want the probability that x is greater than or equal to 0.47, well, if you just want to use your PDF, you just have to integrate. So this would be from 0.47 to what is our top bound? Our top bound is 0.5. And you just integrate that over the PDF. And so in this case, we'll go from 0.47 to 0.4. 0.5, and our PDF was just 5, just a flat 5, 5 dx. 
And if you put this into your calculator, we get 0.15.